Okay, beginning of the semester, you've been given this set of score and you've been asked to find the following. So if this is what you are looking for, then how are we going to deal it? Remember, we have to understand the meaning of this notation actually. Otherwise, uh, you know, it will be difficult for us to find the mean, standard deviation, correlation coefficient, regression line, because you're going to see this often, this notation often you're going to see there, okay? So let's start with A. So A sum of X means these are the variable, one sample in this case. So these are the one sample and these are the test score. If it is two variable, it should level under X, under Y. So, well, we're lucky it's only given one sample. So this is basically, these are the scores, I believe. It's nine of them. Nine students took the quiz and these are their scores. So sum of X means you add all of this together. So, well, let's do this add all of this together so 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 7 plus 0 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 and that is going to give you 65 you add all of them it should give you 65 that's it 65 now notice that uh, the b is a little bit different sum of x and sum of x square is not same remember that's exponent so let's go over something with the PEMDAS so let's see PEMDAS P E M D A S please excuse my dear and Sally if you look into this one here right so parentheses exponent so the first one we don't really have to worry first one we don't have to worry but the second one is the exponent notice that addition at the end so exponent we have to take care of the exponent so this is the exponent actually so we must take care of the exponent first in other words we have to square all of them all of this number we got to square then finally we add look at this addition at the end so we're going to square them individually let's take a look here we can square them individually so in this case is going to be 8 square plus 9 square plus 10 square plus 7 square plus 0 square plus 6 square plus 8 square plus 8 square plus 9 squared is going to give us 539 539 okay remember you square all of them and at the end you add so that is going to give you basically you write down like this 539 on the top you write down like this 65 okay that one is this is 65 and this is 539 let's take a look at letter c so letter c notice that there is a parenthesis here there wasn't any parenthesis so this parenthesis makes all the difference so fam does p is the first one to take care so parenthesis so we got to take care of this first in other words we're going to look into this on inside so what is sum of x well we already found sum of x look at this 65 do i have to do extra work no i just plug in inside i just go with the inside here so i do 65 i type it 65 to the power 2 and it should give me 4225 you can put a comma you don't put a comma it doesn't matter still your answer should be fine nice enough so remember inside the parentheses which is sum of x or you can just do 8 plus 9 add all or 65 square it's the same thing it's going to come up 42 25 okay let's move into letter d now sum of x plus 9 remember there is no parentheses so we got to take care find the sum of x we already know sum of x what is that 65 so just plug it in here though so 65 is going to be 65 plus 9 that's it 65 plus 9 which is a 74 notice that this is already found so that was down here we substitute and of course that is also same thing we substitute 65 plus 9 which is 74 now we're going to look into the last one and this is the one actually some of us have little bit issue okay so let's take a look e sum of x minus 3 so let's take a look on this one x minus 3 seems like inside the parentheses we must take care of it remember we must take care of inside the parentheses we must subtract 3 from each score so for example what i'm trying to say 
8 minus 3, 9 minus 3, 10 minus 3, 7 minus 3, 0 minus 3, and so on and so on. And then finally, we square. We can do it horizontally. We can do it vertically. So again, I think horizontally is going to be better, actually. Let's do this here. So parentheses, and first one was 8 minus 3, and square it, plus the next one is 9 minus 3, square it, plus... 10 minus 3, 10 minus 3, then square it, plus 7 minus 3, square it, plus 0 minus 3, square it, and I need some space, plus 6 minus 3, square it, plus 8 minus 3, square it, plus 8 minus 3, square it, and finally plus 9 minus 3 is square it and that would give us that would give us 214 214 remember we square and then we add 214 so that's how we find the answer for this problem let's use a calculator to see our answer is correct okay so let's take a look here we can even use this any calculator has any calculator has data on it especially this is ta30 access multi view calculator so what i'm going to do just clear the memory of the calculator and have the click the data and press 8 enter 9 enter 10 enter 7 enter 0 we've got to type in enter 6 enter 8 enter 8 enter 9 enter and of course we are looking for this statistics look at this we are looking for these all this so we're going to go to second data and we are looking for one variable statistics remember i mentioned there's only one variable so we're going to click one or enter doesn't matter and of course where is my data stored under l1 so i gotta make sure it's deleted highlighted so this one one variable calculate bingo done we are interested in sum of x is there any sum of x let's take a look go down here a little bit sum of x is 65 fantastic we got a 65 so that's correct sum of x is score is 539 that's lovely 539 so we got it right okay and then let's take a look here so sum of x sum of x is square you know what the rest of them is basically you know i don't think you'll be finding those especially these two you'll find through the calculator yeah, it's not going to give you the rest of them. So, but you can actually use it manually also. For example, in this case here also, you can check out through the calculator and enter. It should give you the 214 also. Thank you.